superstars. It's Peps, it's J-Dog, and you know what time it is. It's the Round 21 review for a massive week of AFL football and J-Dog. Mm. It's getting close. It's getting tight. The sphincters of supporters around the country are tightening up at the moment because clubs are winning, clubs are losing up and down the ladder. It is going berserko. And we're going to get into all of that right away. But for everybody joining us for the first time on YouTube or maybe Spotify or Apple Podcasts, I'm the host, Chris Pepper, 377 game legend of the East Killer Football Club. And to my right, your left, if you're watching this, it's the greatest co-host with the most. He's Jamie the J-Dog Wallace. You know him as Jaden Stevenson's dad. But more importantly, he is the reason why you tune in every single week. The dulcet tones of J-Dog purring through your beautiful ears. Great man. How was the weekend? More importantly, how did you see the football? Um, it was interesting. Uh, yeah, let's just say that the, uh, the wheels of many a wagons are falling off right now. And let's just say, football sucks. The wheels on the bus. The wheels on, or could you say, the planks on the port are falling off. Calm down. Uh, no, Peps, it was a great weekend. I had my cousin... Uh, 21st, so that was lovely. And good. yeah, watched um, watched a bit of football. I sort of ignored the family for the first half of the of the gathering because I was watching um, the Essendon game, loving what I was seeing there potentially until Essendon oh, ruined don't it. Start. Don't start. They, they till, could be getting they could be getting dragged this till week. Essendon ruined it. Oh. And Ooh, then good. and then it was the Collingwood game, and I was loving that. Awesome. And then it was our turn. <laughs> no, I wasn't loving that. <laughs> well, you only you had your sample team in there, so it didn't really matter. No, no, no but it was a good weekend, Pep. The sample team didn't actually request to get the prison bars. <laughs> I knew because you you were, hey, you had a crack, mate. That's all we can ask for. It's true. It's true. But, anyway, uh, how was your weekend, Pep? Oh, mate, fantastic. Uh, house stuff, pool stuff, bought some tools, bought a beautiful DeWalt kit. Oh, did you? Oh, crack I should say. Where are you getting, oh, where, where's, where's this money coming from? Bit of, oh, bit of you know. drug, drug, drug money. No, 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 no. Just sponsorship deals all throughout the country because, hey, I'm laced out and it's how you watch footy. Just like this beautiful T-shirt I've got on for all my YouTube listeners. YouTube viewers, like a cork in the ocean, D Committee, 1992. You can order where, it. where did you buy your DeVault stuff from? Uh, uh, Sydney Tools. Had a great, oh. great little sale. So I bought myself a five-piece mega kit. Oh. What did it include? You got a drill? Oh, hey, hold on. Hold Impact. on, I'll it. Yeah, go get it. I told you I had the box here. Yeah, what do you got there? I, the, I got the uh, the Impact Driver. I got the Hammer Drill. I got the Reciprocal Saw, the Angle Grinder, and the um, Circular Saw as well, too. You stuffed yourself over, mate. Everyone knows this. Everyone, everyone who's watching this and everyone's listening to it in the car is going, you have just ruined yourself. Yep. Yeah, well, more importantly, I'm probably going to end up in hospital cutting something off. So, not, but not John Wayne Bobbitt style, but I'll probably cut something off. But yeah, but now can't now, wait, can't wait. now the wife has got the excuse to say, you got the tools, mate. Let's yeah, but on. they don't work on done. weekends. They only work on weekdays, J-Dog. <laughs> I only got the weekend tools. <laughs> anyway, crack and work of footy. Let's get into it. But hey, hey before, no, no, before we go. What, what? How many bones did that DeWalt kit cost you? Oh, Just eight, for any budding eight, apprentices eight, out there. 820? 820? Yeah, good they, deal. Had a, they had a 35% off deal. How many batteries? Good. One battery? Two batteries. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Good. And a kit and, and, a, and a tool and bag. And a bag and a bag. Heavy duty bag. I actually look like I'm not, like You know like when you see some cricketers when they walk out and they've got yeah. all the gear, they look a million bucks, but they don't yeah. know how to use it? Yeah. Me, but with the tools. I look shit hot, but don't know how to use them. Any chance for a bit of a sling this way for tools for me? Mate, whatever you need, I'll no. be able to help you out. Come Thanks, over mate. for a swim and um, I'll drop some tools off for you as well too. Hey. Thank you. We're going to get into We're going to be rapid fire episode this week. Charlie Keegan, the absolute superstar. He's going berserk. Bombers will win the flag. You've got to make finals first, mate, and then win actual finals. Sack Hinkley kicked Port out of the finals if they endangered their players. Pablo Peps Escobar. Apparently, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the nose candies. And we don't need all of our appendages. Well, you might further on uh, down the track, Charlie, if uh, you meet the right type of gel, you're going to need one in particular. But hey, uh, 
Footy this weekend, J-Dog, I want to get straight into the games. I want to have a look at the ladder because mm -hmm. there's two parts of this ladder. We've got the ladder as we know about, but we've also got not just the ladder, we've got the round 24 fixture has been dropped as well too. So let's have a look at the ladder as I put it up and then put it away and then put it back up again. All right, Collingwood, season's over. According to everybody, season's over. Josh Dacos out. Sorry, Nick Dacos out. Season's over. Melbourne, the Ds have climbed up into second spot. 56 points equal with Brisbane and equal with Port Adelaide sinking fast. Carlton with their seventh win on the row of 46 points. Western Bulldogs, great win over Richmond. St Kilda, um, oh, geez, they're, they're lucky to be staying in, but they are in at the moment. But you've got to, like I said, possessions, nine-tenths of the law. And GWS, even after getting beaten on the weekend, are still just sniffing in that eighth position. Ninth, we've got the Cats, Sydney Swans and Adelaide on 42, 42 and 40 points for stars. Effectively, Essendon are a chance, and I think that's where it finishes. Richmond, uh, it would be great if they finished ninth, but 13th is even better. Gold Coast are on 36. We really need Hawthorne to win two out of their last three games to make Fremantle drop down to 16th spot so we get the third pick in the draft, go Ds. North Melbourne, they had a crack in the first quarter against the Ds, and there was a little bit of a nervous person named Chris Pepper when it came to that one. And the Wet Toast Eagles, well, didn't they break hearts of every single non-Essendon supporter on the weekend? They're on the bottom of the ladder. Eight points. 52% and literally to say they've got Harley Reid sewn up unless North get absolutely walloped over the next few weeks. All right, J-Dog, thoughts and feelings about the ladder. There's 12 teams that still can make the final eight. Thoughts, what do you reckon? No, don't change from last week. So you're staying as it is? Staying as, staying it, as is. it is. All right, now to sort of double up with the uh, Liz Smiley ski double ups, J-Dog, the round 24 schedule was also introduced as well, too. So uh, just because they don't get enough uh, primetime games, Collingwood and Eston are going to start the round off. Um, a couple of the ones to look out for it in terms of how it's going to shape the finals. I'm telling you now, that MCG game between Hawthorne and Frio, that could be a, that could be a pick swapper. So Fremantle would probably want to win uh, to make it harder for Melbourne. And Hawthorne, after what they did in the weekend, are a massive chance to take them out. We don't know where Brisbane's going to be against St Kilda. Cats versus Doggies. I reckon whoever wins that's going to make finals. Now, Port Adelaide versus Richmond. Sydney versus Melbourne's going to be a ripper. And have a look at that last game for the weekend. Carlton versus GWS. Imagine if those two teams locked in at 8th and 9th, respectively, finished out the round on a Sunday evening. Football is getting tight. Football is getting awesome. And we have the best viewers on here. And guess what? More importantly, Tommy Roker's back after a number of weeks. Tommy's back. And Demons are trading Clary to the Suns for pick five. And pick six, pick seven, pick eight, and next year's pick six, seven, and eight. Because that's what you're going to have to pay, Tommy, because there is no chance that superstar is leaving the Ds. Um, what do you reckon, buddy? Uh, are you happy about that last way, that, that round? There's no crossovers. Everything's looking nice and fresh. Yeah, don't mind it. I, in... I I thought that I'd seen that round yeah, already. Someone leaked it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Because I, I when I came out today, I'm like, yeah. I always thought we we're playing Richmond. I I didn't think anything different. Yeah. Well, Tommy says the D's want don't the D's want Harley Reid and by G by Jingo by Crikey, we do want Harley Reid because he is an absolute jet. And just to throw him in the midfield means that good old Petraka can just drop down fours. But it's not the Melbourne show. It's lace out the AFL show. And that means that, J-Dog, it's time for us to spin some magnets. All righty, let's get into the first one. I'm going to start with this. Healy off, Ellingworth on. Bloody week of piss. All right, dragging him this week, J-Dog, and throw them in if you feel like it. Juki Lee's even joined us all the way from Perth. He loves a great chat. Um, first and foremost, Crowded House for pulling out of the grand final gig. Now, that means that the AFL only have 50-odd days for them to find a replacement for grand final entertainment. Now, I think we know who should be grand final entertainment. We went to a, we went to an event last year, you and I together, if you remember. I yep. reckon that's who they should have play. They should have a double act. Airborne, Steel Panther would rock the joint. Could you oh, imagine? Oh, you're talking you, about that show? Yeah, that show. I thought you were talking about when we went and saw Manpower and... Princes of Persia. Oh, that, Princes mm, of the Night. Oh, well, hot, hot and oiled. Yes, I know. That one, we're supposed to keep that to our ourselves. Um, yes, Peps. I reckon Airborne would kill it. 
Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good fun. But the, the problem is not the problem. I'll talk about Crowded House first. That'd be boring. Can, can we get anybody? The problem is with the AFL. Like, that'd be so boring. You know, it's like a corporate event, and you can't get the top lead, top level talent. So you go from top level talent from about twenty years ago. We are the experts in that. The NRL kill it every year. They've actually got better entertainment than the game. We're the better games, and we just can't get the entertainment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Millions, I don't. Apparently, I, listeners, let us know who would you like in to the see. Chat, please. Leave a comment, chat, whatever you want to do. Who would you like to see? Because I, I been racking my brains, Peps. When I, when I saw this news come out, I've been racking my brains, going, who could kill it? On a daytime audience with not the greatest stage show, and we know that Robbie absolutely slayed it. We know Wolf that because that fits into that. They've done, know, have they done it already? Have they? They've done something. Mm, I've seen so them 20, live 20 somewhere. Twenty years. Twenty years. Could work. Could work. Yeah. What about Khalees? And like, what about like if Khalees came out and did a twelve-inch remix of Milkshakes. Well, I'd be. Do you know Khalees, do you know Khalees is married to like? Bill Murray. I'm no, I'm, I'm dead set. I'm hey, not even lying. Coming off the chat right now, Harry Styles, Kylie, Sai. Imagine Sai. Imagine Gangnam Style, and just a hundred thousand just go hoo, riding the horse, just riding the horse. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right. No, I don't. I don't know, Pepsi. Uh, the the AFL Grand Final entertainment is the hardest gig to get right. Like, what's worse, Crat. AFL Grand Final entertainment or hosting the Logies? Oh. Both killers. Um, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't think. I couldn't think of a band that I'd want to see because they brought out um, Goanna and they absolutely, well, they're all right. But once again, no. good song, just didn't no. didn't hit. The best when they had the killers out and they had the concert afterwards. It rocked a joint. It was awesome. That's what they should do. Just rock it. Just rock it. Yeah. Let oh, it. the after- and Motley Crue. Oh, I would, I would be, I would be up for some, um, some of that white snake. Oh, some... yes, in the still of the night. And... Stop it, J Dog. I'm getting a little bit moist. All right, uh, Petty and Dacos injuries for both top four teams. Now, it's just because they're both so impactful. Dacos, we know, is pretty much going to lose a Brownlow over this. You, you can't see him staying yes. with four, with three rounds to go. With the way Bont and Pally's been playing over the last month has just been destroying it. And Petty, Melbourne finally get their forward line in gear and he goes and has a Lindsay Frank injury. So it's just, it's big impacts for those two teams. And it's, they have to shuffle the decks again. It's just, that just kind of sucks moving into the finals. So it's, it's interesting. No one at the moment, if I look at the top four, is really in good nick. Even probably the top eight, there's no one really in super, like, health-wise. Out Petty in fridge. Done. Yeah, but Perfect. you need, you need, a, you need a, I reckon Tommy Mack is going to have to be the ball terror. They need someone to come in and just crack skulls. That's what Petty did. Okay. Uh, and no. the day cost, I don't care what anyone says, he is their number one player and it's going to be a big loss. But hey, yeah, do you think it's going to be somebody it. else who's going to be a bigger loss? Throw in it in the comments. All right. Um, the dickhead who reached over to Marlon Pickett. Yeah, I missed this story. So let me. What's yeah, well, going so on? There was a guy, Marlon Pickett's along the boundary. Guy leans over, touches him. They have a bit of back and forth. Uh, he's been banned oh. until deep into next year. I don't understand what he was thinking. He could have got his wallet stolen. It's just don't do that. <laughs> just just don't touch players. You just don't know what can happen. The keys to his shed the keys could have gone. To his shed could have gone. The, the van could have happened as well too. He could have organised it. Let's just, hey, all the ladies at this stage, but you just got to look after yourself, supporters. But just keep your hands to yourself on a beer and on your lovely. You do that, you're not going to have an issue. Um, so he actually he reached him, over the, him on the fence. Shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. And then Marlon knocked the beer out of his hand as well, too. I hope he, I hope he, I hope he turned around and said, sorry, mate, no, sorry, he, mate. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, did he the whole... me. He smacked his beer. That was like 15 bucks. Unbelievable. And uh, I'm having a crack at Essendon. Essendon for stealing the joy from not just West Coast supporters, but for the supporters of 17 clubs around the country who knew that one Essendon supporter that you would have loved to have got stuck into if they got beaten by West Coast. It, it, they could have won 10 finals and it wouldn't have mattered because they lost to West Coast. It would have been... It, the planets were aligned. It, everything was there, and they just have to go ahead and ruin it, Essendon. Absolute. Oh, 
Emotional uh, damn it! Killed me, J Dog. Killed me. I killed me as well, Peps, because I was looking for. I was like, this is a. If they'd lost oh. that, we're looking at we're looking at a great Saturday. And I know if you're a Port Adelaide hater, an even better Saturday. It would have been awesome just to finish it off as well. I um I want to give a couple of these two, Jade. Hey, anything that you want to pick out? Anything that you want to uh, drag or you know? Um, on my list for dragging. No, I'm pretty happy with the weekend. I'm pretty happy overall. You're in a good mood tonight, aren't you? He's a good mood, listeners. I just, this is good with the Jade yeah. that we like to see. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a okay Ever mood. since you had your Alistair Clarkson like um, respite from the podcast, you've come back refreshed, invigorated, putting in some effort. Where, where was that for the previous five years? I don't know. All right. Hey. No, I've, I've, I've signed a dimmer you deal. you signed a dimmer deal. I've, I've run out of energy and I've signed oh, another podcast. You've even got guests. You've been bringing in your own guests now. It's awesome. All right, here we go. Three votes. All right, three votes. First of all, the Hawks. Wowzers. What a win. And they did everything that, we, we, that I said weeks ago. Tag the runners. Get in their grill. Tag Dacos. You can't go wrong and they didn't go wrong. And that was a cracking win, and they have put the league on notice that the club that were black and white have a little bit of yellow running down their spines at this time of the year. And they do have a kryptonite, and we can hurt them. So I think they've, brought, they've come back to the pack a little bit. Uh, I have to say, for all of those people that join us on our YouTube channel, and if, you, if you're listening to this now and you haven't joined our YouTube channel, get on. The link is in the show notes, get on, subscribe to us on YouTube so you can actually see the beautifulness that is just myself and J-Dog and even little guest hosts as well. Little Big Naya, boy. yes. Um, well. And also, it does help It does help the YouTube machines. Yes, we've got to get that algorithm, the algorithm slash audience. More people need to know about us and less know about scoops. The third thing is, is that uh, three rounds to go, there are still 12 teams that can make the eight. It's just going to be a cracking finish to the season and i'm really looking forward to it it is going to be absolutely awesome j-dog i'm loving yep. footy right now and umpires are still getting it wrong we don't care anymore we've got to focus on the entirety so i'm looking forward to it so there you go ladies and gentlemen they are our spit in the magnets all right really quickly rising star this week carlton finally get one j-dog yes we're talking about the hard-running Carlton wingman, Ollie Hollands, has been rewarded for his fine season with the Round 21 AFL Rising Star nomination. He gave it 20 disposal on the weekend, six tackles, four marks in their 19-point win over St. Kilda, who had a real good crack on the weekend. Pick number 11 in last year's 2022 AFL draft, played the first 11 games, got a bit of a fractured collarbone, a bit of a fractured collarbone. He got a fractured collarbone. And then he returned and has had a pretty good first season. Look, he's not going to win it, let's be honest. Only the people in the first... Eight weeks are pretty much going to win it. Who do you think is going to take out the rising star now that Ashcroft isn't there? Yeah, um, I'm still my man, Chisel, yep. but it's probably going to be Mitch. Yep, Mitch Owens? Well, we hope yep. so because I've got a freaking multi, and if it comes in, PlayStation 5, <laughs> coming for you, kid. <laughs> All right. Um, also, journey to the draft, really, really quickly. Journey to the draft, our man, Jacob Grant. Back to local footy on the weekend. Just trying to get a bit of a uh, rejuvenation. There's two weeks left in the Coats League before finals. He really needs to dominate. He did unfortunately miss out on the combine, which is a bit of a dampener. But the word is if he has an absolute cracking couple of weeks, there's no reason why he can't get an invite. So we've got our legs, eyes, thighs, you name it, crossed for the big fella because he's put in a great season so far. He just needs to go out, be selfish and dominate. Just think of J-Dog on the bike. Nothing's going to stand in his way. So it is going to be awesome. All right, big boy. Uh, yes. That means that we're moving over to you for this week's uh, Talk of the Town. j Dog's topic. We've got, oh, games. Sorry, no. games. We've got games. to get into the games. All right, big boy. Let's rip through these games because they were absolutely sensational. Some of them, oh, I don't think there was a bad game across the weekend, to be honest. No, I, I right, agree. Friday night. Doggies versus Richmond. Oh, no, this probably is a bad game. Well, I don't week. think it was that bad. I think the dom Doggies just dominated. Uh, first quarter, 50 oh, points. Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, I'm going to say one thing, though. If you haven't got a man chub for the Bond, you just don't appreciate the great game of footy. Like, he is... I'm, I'm willing to go and say this. No Bond 
No doggies. Full stop. If Bont goes down, they can't win a thing. He's the only thing will... keeping them within finals at the moment. I will go. I will raise you. Ooh, okay. No Bont. I reckon I'd struggle to watch football. You're, you're that bad, buddy. I I think he is just a phenon. Yep. Imagine if your daughter brought the Bont home. How, how happy would you be? You'd be rich. rich. You'd be rich. Yeah, a beautiful <laughs> little... oh, he, he just dominated. Um, what about the Eugle in the first quarter? Like, he was just taking everybody on there. For Four? Four in yeah, the first? They just they put the foot down. No one was going to get near him. Look, Richmond had a crack, but a 55-point win. And they needed a decent win, too, because they, they haven't got an easy run with the last few games. Um, and Look, I don't think that they can... I think their back line is still very susceptible. And yep. that's my concern, that teams can score. Like, even Richmond, they were nine goals down at quarter time and they still kicked another 10 in three quarters. Doggies only kicked 10. Yeah. So, like, it was pretty much even Stevens for that. So, they are very scorable if you get someone who's got a really good midfield and a really good um, offense. So, and, and for Richmond, for them, same yeah. story. They're just a bit short They're down just, the back. They are. They are. They're yeah. a bit short. They haven't, they haven't got a big 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guy, 6'7", guy. Uh, well, they did. They dropped him. And uh, and West Coast, oh, West Coast, Western Borders have a very tall, um, yeah, and a big line. jumpy four line as well too. So and we know into the Saturday. We know about this game: Essendon versus West Coast. One point win to the Bombers broke everybody's hearts around the country. It would have been nothing better just to see Essendon lose. Like, let's be honest. Hey, raise your hand right now if you would have loved Essendon to lose on the weekend. Even if you hate, even if you hate Essendon, you hate them even more for doing what they did. They they ruined they ruined this weekend of footy. Like you know when the you know when the AFL do their top 10 plays of the week number one would have been Essendon losing the West Coast that would have been awesome if that had they, and they... Supporters, you can have a crack at me but honestly tell me that wouldn't have been the number one news story this weekend if that had happened what a last quarter fight back from from, from the coasters but you know hey? what it is, the coasters they've they've had to throw the magnets around a little bit these, these kids have come in they've had a really hard start to the season they're having a crack. That's all you can ask for. I didn't see that one coming. I thought that was going to be 15 goals minimum. Yeah, um, that was good. That it was, was good. good. And probably Tim Kelly is, is, is probably going to win their best and fairest this year. And he's probably been quiet the last couple of seasons. He started to step up and, and earn the cash that he's, he's finally. But um, I will say one thing. Uh, Kyle Langford, what a great year. You should win outside of merit. You should win the best and fairest because what you've done down forward this year has been nothing short of extraordinary. Sitting something 51 goals now, no, something after the season. I think he'd kick, what do we say? He'd kick something like 20. If that. Um, yeah, yeah he's if been that good. For the rest of the season. So he's been sensational. Uh, we were spoken about this one at length a little bit earlier on Hawks by 32 over Collingwood. I know there's the old ACM. Oh, we, going, we, we, jump, we jump over Adelaide Gold Coast, are we? Jumping about a late oh, I'm leaving that one to next. Uh, right, okay. But Hawthorne, brilliant. They, yeah. they, they played... I, I've given Sam Mitchell a bit of stick over the over the last couple of years. God, he's a tactical genius. Like, he's doing that with a group of young kids at the moment. Imagine when they get another 50 games into them, what they're going to be like. They will win a grand yeah, think... final before Essendon. Right. Yep. Will they make the finals next year? No. They okay. they still need it. They still need a bit more. They need a couple more drafts. But I like what he's They were brave. They were brave and they were good and they took it on. They took they, they beat Collingwood at their own game. They got in their grill. James Sicily, like the second greatest number yeah. six ever to play AF uh, VFL AFL footy behind yours truly. He just dominated. He's I love him. I love him. I love those loose cannon type of backmen. Just love it. So he was sensational. Yep. Finn McGinnis destroyed Nick Dacos. I think he had him... What do you have? Six, was it six disposals? Five. Disposals. Five disposals. I will give, I'll give Dacos some credit. Gets his knee cracked. Played out the game. Yeah, I was, I was actually surprised to, to hear that he actually ran the game yeah. out. Because right? I looked at the numbers and I'm like, oh, Jesus. He must have gone off at quarter yeah, time. But no, McGinnis, McGinnis just absolutely... He, he, he yeah. was on fire and he called the MFB and said, get me one of those blankets, big boys. Threw it straight over the top of him and he hey, just extinguished him. No yeah, Dacos, no Collingwood. And it showed on the weekend. Uh, Adelaide and 
Gold Coast, Tommy Roker. I want to know what happened to Gold Coast. I f didn't pick them, but I thought they would have shown more fight. Like, they were just beaten up all across the entire game. Um, is Dimmer Harwick going to be the coach? You think so? Is he going to make much of a difference? What do you think? I don't know. Okay. Question of this game here. Can Taylor Walker win? Win it. Win the Coleman. Who's Carlton? Carlton got Melbourne this week. They got GWS as well. And I don't know who's in the middle. Yeah. Maybe. Who do they play this week? If they play oh well, if they play West Coast or uh North, you're a big chance. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I love him. I love what Tex is doing. Like I said, there is nothing sweeter when he gets on that left on the run from Fiddy. Where are we at? Round 22. Jeez. Oh, quick season gone, Jesus. Jados. Uh, but the Suns, yeah. You, like, they have a great win the week before against Brisbane. They come out and serve that up. It's, it's the same Gold Coast. And I know we've got Gold Coast supporters who think, you know, they're a massive, you know, they're going better. I. I've held on for this long. I've held on for this long, but I'd love to see them finish the season off on a high, get a couple of extra wins and have a, and have a winning end of the season because by now they're usually finished. Uh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, tell us about this game, big boy. Geelong by 12 over your mob. Um, Six force changes in one week does not help when you lose two about an hour before the game. Pretty brave. Annoyed that it's a fourth loss in a row for us, but at the same time, I'm not going to go as far as to declare it like old like old Kane Corns and call it a win. Oh, that's I'm not going to I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm not going to go bad. I'm not going to go baseball on it. He's the same bloke that would get stuck into Melbourne and Carlton and West Coast and Gold Coast and any other team that wasn't his for honorable losses. There's no such thing as an honorable loss. Mate, it, it's <laughs> bullshit. Don't play horses for courses crap. That was not a win. You lost. And you're losing I, I, your I do, on a home final too. That's the most disappointing part, I think, of it all, is, is we've, we we had that streak of 13 in a row and we're most likely going to drop to And you know what? They were, that second. was a soft 13 in a row, must, I must say. Now, what do you do? <sighs> do you sign Kenny? Um, I'm, I'm, an, I'm in the no camp. I've been in the no camp for a while, but at the same time, as uh, someone who works in... Well, we work in the same space as you and I, Peps. It's hard to fire a bloke when he's had a pretty good season. Yeah. But I'm going to look at it as the past 11 years and go, it's probably time to move on. Um. Anyway, well, you've, sorry. You've got to uh, find somebody who's... You've got. Taylor Walker, Taylor Walker, 63. Charlie Kerno on 68. Yeah, he needs to be... That well, come he's down playing to on Stephen May this week, so he'll get blanketed completely. He won't get a kick. Probably come out kick eight. Um... Dog, uh, D's versus North. D's by 32. If you tell me they were quarter time, Melbourne would be down by five goals. Disappointing. I think we were speaking and I was, I was getting a little bit animated when it came to that. You guys were on the weekend for everyone. Yeah. Why is that? Everyone was wanting, everyone was wanting North Melbourne oh, no to chance. win. Oh, look, at one stage I thought, what the hell's going on here? But then they regrouped themselves, etc. Look, I think Cosy was brilliant. The petty injuries is... It's actually quite big because we, we haven't got someone to naturally flow in there. Ben Brown isn't the answer. Grundy's not the answer. Josh Shackey's not the answer because you want someone who's aggressive and he's going to bring the ball to ground and none of those guys are that. And Brundy Grundy is not a forward. So I can't see Grundy getting a game or none of those guys getting a game. So they're going to have... He won't yeah, be. I don't think Grundy's going to get a game, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry our supporters out there. And I'll get, I get private messages about this stuff. Grundy is coming to Port Adelaide next year. I'm what sorry. What are you going to give up for him? Nothing. We're going to ream. You're going to ream you guys like you reamed. No, no. Like you reamed Probably Collingwood. We got rid of him, mate. We just we got him. No, no, no. We're going to ream you harder than that. You you thought that was a good reaming. Yeah. The days are getting you so wait. old. Yes, Tom. That's what happens when you get success. You, you do uh, we're going to ream you harder than what people cop in a Brickzilla video. If you don't know who Brickzilla is, look oh. it up. On in Hendo Cognito. Rick would bend you over and split you into <laughs> fourteen different pieces, my friend. Because no, you're not. You're gonna you're gonna give at least yep. a first rounder for him. You need... We're Johnny Sins. We're, we're Johnny Sins. We're coming in. Yeah, and I'm Sky Bree. Just gonna <laughs> take all your draft picks. This is, 
people people's Google browsers are going to yeah, be just going. Just not safe for work, people. <laughs> just do not search any of those names using cognito mode. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yep. St Kilda versus Carlton. I watched this game. It was actually a really good game, and I thought the Saints had them. Carlton, they've got a bit of spunk about them at the moment. They're playing some 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 pretty good footy at the right time of the year. I I don't say about Carlton. I it's just it's nothing. They're not surprising me because they've got the cattle to do this to teams. I think it's surprising that it's taken so long for it to click. Well, when you've had 47 first-round picks over the last, what, five years because you've been shit for so long, of course you're going to have to get... It's going to have to click sometime. <laughs> They're bloody impressive, though, Peps. They're coming in... You you, if, if they, if they get in... impressive, do you think? The fact they've knocked off almost the top four now in the last seven rounds. Okay. And, and, like, not just knocked off, but comfortably beaten. Mm -hmm. um, and no one looks close to them. Like, no one looks close to this team at the moment. They are... Mm, no. Nah. They are Collingwooding teams mm -hmm. now, like Collingwood no, between not, rounds. No, four, four to eight. No, four to not. ten. No, they're not. No, they they're are. not. Mate, they're not even guaranteed to play finals at the moment, Jay. This is the thing. I don't want to... If they make finals and they keep this form up... They, they won't. They won't. I know, I'm like Jeremy Carlton is though. They've actually got some some talent to come back in. Like Cherry's still got to come in. McGovern's got to still come in. Williams maybe come back in. So they've got some some good stuff. Walsh to come back in. So they've got some goodness. But if you have you, you then bring those guys in, it's going to cause a lot. you can't make too many changes this time of year. No. And why would uh, you? I don't know. I know. I, I know. know, I, know I know the I just, names. I just, mm, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on them. Not this week. You can be on them after this week. <laughs> and last game of the weekend, which broke my heart, was uh, Fremantle beating... Sorry, Fremantle losing to, to Brisbane. The reason why it broke my heart is I genuinely thought Freya were a massive chance to win this one, and they should have won this one and just let this one slip. Um, but yeah, it would have put more surprised. separation on Brisbane in third spot now and pretty much would have finished their top two aspirations. Now you, you've left them in the hunt. I, I, I don't rate Brisbane. Sorry to say, I, I don't rate Brisbane. I, I think you're right, though. I think there's more of a threat from Carlton than there would be Brisbane. Brisbane outside of the MC, outside of Brisbane is not that crash hot. Fremantle no. anywhere outside, they're not crash hot. Carlton, I reckon, there, you, I reckon there is something there. Like I said, I, I don't think it's going to happen. You know what they've got? They've got a little bit of Melbourne 2018 about them. When they, when oh, they baby, when they baby, home, baby Melbourne. Home, got to a prelim and just got fizzed. Not to say that's going to happen. Like, are they putting all their eggs into the basket of making finals now? And are they going to go too hard? I don't know. I don't know. And Mackay's another one that they haven't got. But I don't think, I think Mackay actually makes him a worse team. He just throws that whole forward structure out completely. I, I'm just... I'm just... I'm, I'm, I've, I haven't, I haven't sold the farm onto my Carlton. I haven't, I haven't moved too many shares into Carlton. But if they have a win this week, I'm, I'm pushing some more shares into that mm, bucket. Go for it. You can push as many shares as you want, my friend. But like I said, uh, premierships are not one in August. They're one in September, and at the moment, they're not there. Hmm. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep, exactly. Um, Anything else? Oh, actually, let's go through some of the questions. All right. So, some of the stuff coming through. Actually, you read them out, my friend, because um, I want everybody to make sure. sure that they're liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell on YouTube so they can get us every single week. Because we're going, like I said, we are going cocoa nutters on the tube. Uh, uh, Tom has said that West Toast tanked. I wish that was the case. I wish we could say that. So they can get a half a million dollar fine like Melbourne did. <laughs> um, the difference is you guys didn't put players in the right positions and made it look obvious. Um, what Brilliant. about a crack at Brendan Brendan Hoskin and the blatant favoritism in Geelong? Oh yes. The, what was that one? The free kick free kick gate. What was that? Hashtag free kick Geelong. Well, on the weekend. 31 to 19 in the Port oh, Adelaide versus well, Geelong game. If you get the second of the ball, one, that's what's going to happen. 
Brendan Hoskin paid 15 frees to what, Geelong in that game. Well, one umpire. That's not right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's not right. I'm sorry. Uh, um, hey, Tommy's throwing the other. The MRO said nothing to see. Gil McLaughlin suspended too. Look, you know what? I just hope someone goes off and, and just gives um, Zorko, just, just does something to him because he is an absolute sook. Mate, you got your balls twisted in a tackle. Like, there's worse things that can happen, and you've probably done them. Um, yeah, twisting balls yeah, is pretty. Pretty. Can thing. you honestly tell me he deliberately did it? Like, I yeah, don't know. J-Mo, you look at the video, he's tackled him. It happens. It's a contact sport. Uh, so you reckon he put his hand just down his pants to just push his up back oh, up off the ground? He didn't give him relief, did he? Like, it, no, he know. just gave it a twist. Oh, there was bruising. Anyway, the Tom, anyway Tom, Tom's... Like you, Tommy. Tom, Tom's with, Tom has also, or maybe this has got you off, Tom. Uh, he just said uh, EK lost to Keeler Derby. Yeah, they did. Oh, they were they were a massive shot. So Mel- East Keeler were like your mob at the moment. They've had that many injuries, like twenty seven injuries at the moment. Yeah, yep. yeah. They they couldn't even field a reserves team. That's how decimated they were. And they came out and uh, Keeler, they're coached by Mick McGuire, haven't lost a game all year. To have it looked like losing a game all year, and it got to like a two goal. I think it was just on a two goal loss. And geez, were the boys given the uh, Keeler bench? They were shitting themselves. Shit themselves <laughs> to get beaten by East Keeler. Like, it would have been the greatest thing. But unfortunately, they had a crack. And, like, you know, when we're talking about honourable losses, that was honourable because you knew just the class difference between the two teams was was mammoth. And they had a crack. And Aussie, and Aussie, Aussie Harris had a cracker of a game, too, as well, too. Cam Wild played fantastic as well, too. It's not the bloody, it's not the, not the Cougars Watson. podcast. Oh. Go Cougars. Tom, never bring up that topic oh, ever again, please. He knows they're all Harris. Um, all right. Next one was Craig Jones. What part of the 13 was soft? We beat your mob, didn't we, Peps? We did. That's great. Remember that pickup? Oh. Mm. Horn France under Rosie. Snap over the shoulder. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Oh. oh, it was soft. Yeah, we That's were shit. Great. You beat us. That's Big deal. Beautiful. That's, That's beautiful. Little... That's beautiful. Great. Yeah. Um, radio, and then Craig Jones said, "Yeah, what Tuke did is not nearly as bad as Hawaii." Two thousand and seven. Um, here's one from Tommy Roker. What about the Demons sending Grundy to West Coast with the Frio pick plus whatever else they need to bundle for pick one? No. Why not? I reckon Tommy. Why not? If he wants to go to West Coast <laughs> and that gets us Harley Reid, do whatever you need to do, Melbourne. But he's coming our way. We're going back to back. Uh, you're going back We're to back. We're going back to back. Yep. Behind, All right. Unfortunately. Yeah. Devastated. All right. Right. Uh, so, listeners, that means now it's handing it over to the great man's topic of the week. Over to uh, J Dogs. We read. I don't know. We haven't got a so, name for this segment. Drop it in the chat for us, can you? Yeah. Shit chat. Shit chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for anyway. It. Go for it. So, Peps. This really, this, this this thought came to me on the back of scrolling through Instagram yesterday afternoon, and on my Instagram I have a whole bunch of random shit, right? And this is also it's also tied into a bit of Twitter X as well, because it's not called Twitter anymore; it's called X, and it's no longer called tweets; they're called Xs or something like that. They're called I don't, I don't know what the young kids are doing these days. It's still called Twitter. No, nah, they're called Xs or something, uh, aren't they? Still called tweets. Oh, oh well, yeah, it's not on my phone. There's still tweets in my eyes, right? Well, anyway, so long story short, I was going through some of the some of the, the players of the modern world and what they're what they're putting up there. And it got me thinking that there's a whole generation of of, of players that aren't soft cocks that would have had a real good time on the Instagram. And so I wanna know, yeah. Peps, I wanna know and listeners, please chuck in some names in the chat as well for us while this topic. Some of the players who would have had Instagram and what type of Instagram content would they be posting? So I want to go with my first one here. So you think about players of the, of the past years, not the modern stuff, because they all just post the same shit. It's either going to be them snorting drugs, white powder, nudes, um, and just boring media bullshit. And no one cares for it. Like modern footy players, no one cares for your shit. 
What I want to know, Peps, the player had in mind who would absolutely be one of those players that would kill you is Buckley. What would Nathan Buckley's Instagram be full of, do you think? Body shots. I reckon the same thing. Fitness, follow me, eat eat 7 million calories a day and you can look like me. He'd be sponsored by uh, Gymshark or um, yeah. 2XU. Just And it'd just be like on stories of him just at the gym or him like talking about something and he'd have the, the big aviators oh, on. Yeah. True. True. And it would just be him doing squats and stuff like oh, that. You curls, know, you know like what curl workouts, like uh, get arms like Arnold or get thighs like oh. Buckley. Hammer Can curl. you just imagine his Instagram? Peach curls. If... Oh, check. So the other, oh. so the other player I thought at Peps when I was when I was thinking about like who would be interesting on the Instagram. Mm. What would Glenn Jakovic oh, have? He'd be freaking nightclubs. Just you reckon he'd just be sculling nah, beers? I reckon he'd be he'd be and smoking. Nah, he'd be doing stuff like just building stuff with like a sh- no shirt on, and just look at me. I don't know. Just the, the, yeah, he'd have his rig out too. Or no, you know what it'd be? It'd be photos of him smashing Wayne Carey. Had the duck last <laughs> night. Only kicked two on me. Destroyed him again. Do the you reckon he'd be continued? Do you reckon it'd be selfie mode and him just talking direct to camera yeah. about how oh, good he is? He'd, he'd, yes. Yes, he would. Um, <laughs> what about Tony Modra? What would Tony Modras be? Oh, I reckon Tony Modras wouldn't be Instagram. He'd be OnlyFans. I reckon Tony Modra would be the same. I reckon it'd be oh, him no. just sweeping around a nightclub in Adelaide with just girls. <laughs> just... <laughs> you, asked Ash, you asked my friend Ash Fernie about... Um, Tony Modra. Because Tony Modra had the hair. He had he had the he looks. He could play. He could play like a hanger. Oh, hanger goal of the year. Even Do you reckon do you reckon he would repost fans of his hangers that he took, you know, when like I saw the other day. In fact Rude Boy took a photo of you the other day. Yeah. You being an absolute nuffy at the footy recording. Oh yeah. A pl- yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that was> <laughs> Do you reckon that he would be a reposter of other people's posts? Uh, no. There would be other people taking photos of him. Yeah, and then repo- and he'd be reposting yeah. them. So, like, when they see their idols, like they saw me on TV, they repost it. <laughs> what about Warwick Kappa? What would the Wiz be? Oh. The Wiz would have been with him and Leanne... I reckon the Wiz would have. He would have curated. He'd have a curated page, wouldn't he? I reckon you couldn't trust Wiz to keep his own page. Could you? It'd be too dangerous. He'd have his own platform, like you, Kappa. He would. He'd actually try and promote off that, wouldn't he? Yeah, everything would be Kappa. Warragram. Was it? Was it? Was a gram? Insta whiz. <laughs> All right. He would. Sorry. He would have to have. He would have to be like. It'd have to be like proper shots. You know who, Nolan? Kevin Sheedy. You know that'd be Kevin Sheedy would just be about him selling his books and corporate <laughs> gigs and anything that he could do to get a dollar. Do you reckon it would be just him at selfies at corporate yeah. gigs? Yeah. Yeah. No. Any photo with any photo of him where he's looking magnificent in terms of football coaching. Look at me, premiership coach. You can have me speak at your corporate gig. That contact me. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like coaching your team to premiership success, and I can show you how to coach your team to business success. Call me, Kevin Sheedy, or read my book. That's what it'll be. <laughs> All can right. You know you gonna, and, uh, oh, you know who'd be awesome? Malcolm Blight. Who? Malcolm Blight would all be about him. Malcolm Blight would be good. Okay. Two players I want yep. to end with. Arguably the two of the greatest players that's ever played our game. I'll go with one yep. first. Lee Matthews. Oh. What would Lee Matthews' page be all about? What, do you, what kind of Instagram would he be? What kind of influencer he, would he be? I reckon he and Diesel Williams would have the same sort of page. 
It would either okay. show photos or footage of them dominating people or mm -hmm. photos or video of them punching people. Do you know what I can see? What? I can just see, in my brain, I can just see him shacking up with like a, like a, like a, like a butcher and him just like selling meat on his page. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Like him with his shirt off with a big bear, like bear chest going with a big mo, mm. and him just like selling like three kilos of sausages and I don't know. There's something about Lee Matthews and that sort of and, just and not about him. Caring. It's because he had his shorts up really high, so he had like these big quads. I have another one. What about Tony Lockett? What would Plugger have? Plugger would be getting obviously a sponsorship deal from Snow Deli. That'd be the first thing, <laughs> and the second thing would be plugging his greyhounds. No, that, again. Or just, or just farm just content. Farm content. Check out my new flannel. Check out my flannel. Check out me John oh, Deere. Oh yeah. Check out me. Crop. Check out my potassium sulfite fertilizer I just picked up for four hundred dollars a kilo. Mm. Yeah. Check out me cedar. Oh yeah. Check. Walks check around and gives us stats on his cedars. Harvester. Oh. He'd, I, and I reckon he'd wake up every day and just be like, "Good morning, everyone. Look at a beautiful." F Day here yeah. on the farm. He wouldn't say much. Chris what about Moore? Gary Ayers? He, he'd just have shots of his mullet, wouldn't he? Just that. Oh, firm, Ayers, that firm, would, Ayers would just be about him. Care. He'd be sponsored by Soul Glow. Oh, do, the only footage I have Gary of Gary Ayers in my brain is the one where he's down at Port Melbourne coaching with his sunnies on and the silver yeah. hair in, a, in like a zip up jacket. That's something yeah, I have Gary Ayers in my brain. Grand final, the, the single best grand final outside of 2021. Yeah. Oh, All right. I, I got another one. I actually have another one. Yeah. Wayne Carey? That was the one I was going to end on. Oh, is that the other one you're going to end? All right. Before we go into that one, the other one I had, I've got two more. Trevor Barker. Oh, he, 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 oh Trevor Barker. You want to talk about... You want to talk about... It'd it just be punch-ons, no, wouldn't Trevor it? Trevor Barker. Oh, he was a... Wouldn't it just be punch-ons at the pub? No. Hot. It, it, you'd want to be on his Snapchat channel. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have only fans too, I reckon. I reckon. Um, and I did have one more. Jason Ackermanis. <laughs> oh, his would just be a lads channel. Yeah, we just all about him. Look at me. Just yeah. beers. How to dye your beard? Handstands. Handstands. Yep. How to do a handstand? Yeah, he. That would have been he would have been a good channel. Also, Fev oh, back in the day would have been a great channel. Fev in his day, I remember he did he did a he did a um he did a sportsman's night at his kill or like when he was first starting and it was shit like he was that bad, but he wasn't allowed to drink, so he, he just had a coke can with yeah. the bourbon in the coke can. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't yeah, drinking. But he was drinking. And what would Wayne, what would Wayne oh. Carey be? <clears throat> I reckon he'd have a premium channel. He'd have a Patreon account. He'd, where you could he'd have a blue. Oh, oh, there'd be there'd be Wayne's toilet tips. <laughs> there'd be <laughs> there'd be um, there'd be uh, a lot of peacocking. There'd be a lot of celebrations. There'd be uh, a lot of video of him just strutting. Yeah, I've just got yeah. nothing but like footage of him walking around. His no shirt. His, on. his port. His port Melbourne thing. No shirt no on. No shirt. Look at me and my beamer. Going oh, to Bali. Going to Bali. Once again, another one you've been reading the Snapchats for. It'd be just, it would be pretty cool, would it? It's like when people talk about if Seinfeld was now, what would they talk about? It's the same sort of thing. What yeah. would those players in their prime do? What about Buddy Franklin? Like 20, you know, go back 15 years ago, what he would have been like now. Nightclubs. I think, do you know what? I reckon Buddy... <laughs> I didn't Tommy go with Rucker. that one. But, oh, but I, I did think about it. How to, maybe not, how, maybe how not to. Yeah. Um, uh, do you know what? I reckon Buddy... Buddies would be boring. You reckon? Yeah. Not many, not, Don't not many you reckon? people buy themselves a, uh, a birthday cake to celebrate their hundredth. Is that what he, he did? Himself a cake to celebrate his hundred. It's kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that tragic? Not, not, when, 
hundredth game, J Dog. It wasn't the hundredth game oh. I was talking about. Uh I uh, yep. yep. You'd get yep. yourself a trophy, wouldn't you? Uh yep. yep. Um no, I reckon I reckon he's would be he's would be all right, but I reckon it would just be a lot of time. See, Budwas had Budwas had just different lifestyles. He's had the fluoro shirt, young Budwa, yeah. and he's had like the the model the model Budwa. You know another one? I reckon Kevin Murray. Kevin Murray. Kevin he, Murray. He'd be just shots of him with no shirt on, with his brown low around his neck that he still wears around his neck right now. Yeah, yeah. like Jacko Jackson would be a oh, good one. Oh, Jacko! Oi! He'd be a good one. You can't fool me by copies here. Oh, just I can, I, I could just oh. see him like just I could see I can his channel would just be him driving around Melbourne, yeah. yelling at the people, and whoever yells back to him, he'd run out and punch him. Oh, absolutely love it, J Dog. Absolutely love it. Um, but, but yeah, that's yeah, go for it. Sorry. No, no. I was just going to say that's that that's uh that's that's the end of uh shit chat. Unless you no, got nothing, to... nothing. Shit chat. Okay. Um, one thing. Getting yes. close for the uh, coaches award as well too. Dacos is winning. Petrarca second. Bont third. Getting very very tight at the top at the moment too. So, getting very very exciting from that perspective as well too. Uh, one week at a time. Games for this week that you're getting a little bit excited for, Jamie. We've only got three rounds to go. Some teams should be planning their end of season trip um i don't know if you've got the games up because you're not normally prepared yep no no i always right. do what games are you looking forward to uh, yeah i'm probably looking forward to do, 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 do. i'm looking forward to friday yeah, night that'll be a ripper why did you call me Luke three that'll in a row? A... corker mm. i'm looking forward to see if essendon can can pull another victory from the jaws of defeat okay. And the other game I'm looking forward to is probably your game. Thank you. Yeah, Melbourne Melbourne Carlton's obviously the one I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to a couple other games, but for different reasons. Yours game? Port and GWS. What happens if you lose five in a row, Jamie? Uh, yeah, okay. Big, big trouble. trouble. All right. Hawthorne Western Bulldogs. And that's at UTAS. That's not... Not so much. I'm looking forward because if Hawthorne do what they did to the Western Bulldogs to what they did to Collingwood, doggies aren't a lock for finals. And the other one, out of just, could you imagine what would happen over there in the WA market if West Coast, which I don't think they will because they want to get that number one pick, could you imagine if they beat Fremantle, a team that won a final last year? Absolutely mind numbing. <laughs> mind numbing. Do you. Uh, yeah, look, I, I do take your Western Bulldogs Hawthorne one on. I'm just not interested because they're so they're just they're too far apart this time of the year. Yeah, understandable. For look, me. just a couple of things are coming off the chat. Craigie Jones getting stuck into me because I got uh, I didn't include Butters in third spot. Oh, that's sorry, forgot about Butters. Ooh. Didn't mean that. So it goes Dacos, Petrarca, Butters, Bont. Apologies, he was one vote in front, but I'll take that one back. Uh, Tory Daniel, Tory Williams, absolute superstar, is. I'm very nervous for this week, but I think we're going to want um, have a good one. And um, Charlie Keegan called Frio to finish bottom four before the season. Yes, he did. Tommy Roker. Uh, That's yep. I also, I also could pick Richmond not to make the eight, and I also picked Collingwood not to make the eight. But fair, but but, but fair, fair play to uh, fair play to Keegs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not you know far what? off. Yeah, not yeah, far he was off. Good. He was on the on the potty a couple of weeks ago. He's he's just one. He's just one game. No, a couple of games. He's done well. Above. He's done well. Hey, you know what it's time for J Dog. Before we wrap this bad boy up, before we wrap this one up, it's time for you to unwrap with Jamie's fan tail. This is the highlight of my week. The fan tail. This is fan tail moment. Yeah. I don't. We don't. We don't. We don't actually edit that one in ever. Anyway, all right. Fan tail moment. You know, and the then we can all... in the chat. Put it in the chat. Leave a comment below. Also, who else? Did, Instagram. Instagram pages. Yeah. Let yeah. us know in the... Uh, leave a comment. Hmm. All right. Uh, this is... Um... Is John Long my horse? <laughs> did you say, is John Long my no, horse? His name, horse. Imagine his Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jesus. 
<laughs> All right. This is Matilda's based, being that it's a theme. Who am I? Born in Sydney in 1968, he pursued drama at the Western Australian Academy of Performance Arts. Performing Arts, sorry. He has starred in a variety of musicals, making fame starring as Peter Allen in the long-running The Boy From Oz. Since then, he has starred in a variety of films, including Van Helsing, The Prestige, Real Steel, Les Mis, Prisoners, and starring as Wolverine in six X-Men-related films, starting back in 2006. Mm. I am... And that's it. Just started early. Started early. On that fan tale. I'll be picking. I'll be picking that first one right now. Fantastic. Good question. I think everybody's going to get that one. It was a, you know a what? huge question. I love it. They used to be harder. I oh, know. I oh, know. It used to be like yeah, yeah. It used to be a lot harder. They've got too easy. It's just the, the, the children of today. They don't want to be tested. They just want everything no. handed to them. No. Okay. Hey, but you know what? Also, you want is the magnificence of a lace out. Hey, everybody who's joined us live tonight on the chat. Awesome. If you're watching us on our brand new YouTube page, and if you haven't, get on to Lace Out Podcast on YouTube. I've left the link in the show notes. Join us, subscribe us, get more people hearing about us, get more people get to see us, and it means that we're generating more content for you because we love every single one of you. So, hey, round 22 is going to be an absolute belter this week, but that is your round 21 review Lace salad style, hosted by myself, Chris Pepper, and the great man, Jamie the J-Dog Wallace. Belt of an episode. The kids are screaming. That means that we're wrapping this bad boy up. But before we do, I hope your team wins, unless you're Carlton. I hope Essendon lose. (laughs) But more importantly, Jamie the J-Dog Wallace. Oh, and apparently, we've scored. The Matildas have scored, J-Dog. We're 1-0 up. One nil up. Apparently, apparently. One nil. No, Bo Hawkins has jumped in. <laughs> One nil. The Matildas are in front. The show's about to finish. J-Dog, how do you want your footy? I want it lace out. I'm going to go watch the soccer. Go Matildas. Go football. Go you good listeners. And have a great week, listeners. See you, listeners. Go Matildas. I should have met that fan tail. My mouth is... Oh, oh, now I got that. <laughs>